sending data to the database, we need um, what we call SQL command. So, um, but then SQL command requires a string. So I can declare a string here called SQL. And this is where now we write, uh, so we can now say SQL is equals to, now we are, right, we are going to insert into a database table. So we write insert into our table. Hope people remember the name of the table from COVID-19 database. So we come here, COVID patients, tables, and we have TBL patients here. The columns in here is a patient ID, which is an auto number. So we are not going to insert this value because it will be generated. If I come here, by the way, and right click, and say select of thousand records. I'll be able to see that uh, already we have the information that we created last time using a, a direct SQL from here. Now, so uh, what we want to insert is the name and that is the field I'll write here. So insert into, first of all, the name of the table, which is TBL patients. So we have that. And then the first field that we'll insert is name. The next field is ID number. The next field, is DOB. The next field, gender, country, is active. Then we close that bracket here. And then now here we say values, and then have the values inside here. So the first value that we want to send to the database is the name. And that name is the information that is found within this text box here. And what was the name of the text box? We can remember the name is txt name. So coming back here, now because we are building a string that is going to be executed, we will add so here, we put an apostrophe and then that string say plus the content of txt name txt name the text plus we close it that way we put an apostrophe we put a comma then the next is what goes so that is now, that is what goes to the, what goes to the name. Now, for ID number, we start that way, then plus txt ID number dot text plus, so we close. comma next is the gender so gender we are picking from a combo box so that way that way and was it cmb gender yes dot text plus sorry So next is country, say plus txt country the text. Next is is active. And the way to pass a boolean here, if we write is active, so you are picking what is in this checkbox. If we put Plus, sorry.
And then now what we were supposed to do here was plus check chk is active dot val dot checked. But there will be a small problem that I'll show you shortly uh, because we don't want to put that there. So let's check. There's a small error here. Okay, sorry, I forgot a plus there. Now it's okay. And within here, I can even say message box dot show, and then I show what is in SQL. So I want to display that string. We want to see what that string looks like or how that string looks like. So I save, run. Now I put in the name Cornelius, ID number, uh, date of birth, I pick gender, Kenya, and then save. Then run, run, run. And this is the message box showing insert into tbl patients name id number values is cornelius id number is here male kenya true and now this is where we have a problem checkbox the checked value is true but sql server expects that we either pass a zero or a one and hence this is how we are going to take care of this is how we are going to take care of that scenario. So I can close here. And I need an integer for active. So I can declare an integer here, int val is equals to zero. And write if is active, checked, val is equals to one. So this val will be zero when the checkbox is not checked but if it's checked the value becomes one so i take that val and now replace replace what we have here now so that is our string so to send this information i can now comment to that checkbox to send the information to the database we need what we call uh, command so sql command you can say com is equals to new sql command and one of the things that it wants to be passed is the string which is my string sql the one that is here and then now the connection is the con up there now if i come down here and say com dot execute non query because we are not reading from the database we just want to execute now, let's run that let's run that so i like breaking it that way save start um what names did we have we had joe and james now i need cornelius id number date of birth and by the way did we check date of birth value we did not so that will be a problem so let me close that so we have the name as the first one which is this id number which is here dob 
So DOB should come before gender. So I have to create space here. Put a comma. Um, those strings. The string. And plus. And here. I'll say DTP. Which is the name of that date picker. Dot value. And sometimes. I like putting that to string. And having it in the format of year, 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 month, month, then they do. Good. So, if we want to see the string before it's executed, I can still display it here, first of all. And then... Save, run, ID number, gender is male, then Kenya, save, continue, and that is my string. So, um, this is the name, the ID number, DOB is 1997 02, and then male Kenya 1. If I click on OK, I'm still, hap I'm still not happy with this format. So let me have it that way, so that it's 0, 9 instead, 2 M's here, and then D. Now let's go. ID number, date of birth, and then country. Save, continue, continue. Now, good, 1990.0902. That is the format I wanted that date to be in. Click OK. Continue. Execute. Any error? Yes. Says the conversion of data value of upload the column. OK. I think ID number, what was the data type for our ID number? It was integer, sorry. So if it's integer, first of all, we don't need this. We don't need that. And then we have to make sure that it's um, it's a number. It's within the number range. Those are some of the things that we can learn later. But now writing Cornelius, ID number. Save. Run, run, run. Message box. Continue, continue. No error this time around. Close the connection. Now, let's go back now to the database and run our select query. Execute. Good. So you see that now from the data, from the interface, we've been able to to send information to the database. So we can do that again. So I can now come back here, make it a little bit cleaner by removing all, all the breaking points. And instead of having this message box here, I can even have it down here, whereby um, the system can tell us that this was successful. You can say process completed. So that we know that the, the information has been sent to the database. Now let's run. So come back here. You can even click on new. Now, um, I 
ID number, um, date of birth, save, process completed. Let's go back to the database, execute our query. Gilbert is here, do another one, click on new, Mary, ID number, um, date of birth, female, um, somebody there, save, process completed, let's go back and check. Good. So now the information that is being sent from the interface here is now going to our back end or what you call the, um, the database. And that is it for now. Say so that now the next thing that we want to learn is how to query that information and display um, from the UI. But basically what we've seen is how do we connect to the database? How do we create string that will be sent uh, via command into the database? Thank you.